Good Congrats night. on the award. Uh, it's a big deal to you and getting on the list of great coaches. Yeah, it's obviously it's um it's it's pretty cool, you know, to to be recognized. I think it's um you know a, a culmination of what the entire defensive staff and the and the players in the locker room. It's just a reflection of what they've been able to do um, up to this point this season and. Uh, to be recognized for the hard work that they've been um, they've put in uh, thus far is 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 nice. It's, it's cool to be recognized. Just what did you see after that first drive, and how were you guys able to so quickly turn the page after that scoring drive they had to start? Um, you know, you got to give credit to Michigan. Like, not only do they have really really good players, and they got a really good staff, and, um, and they got a great scheme, and you know they they challenge you um, with your reads and your keys, and and so once we were able to sort of. You know, sit back and, and find out what the issues were in the, in the run game specifically. Um, and our guys kind of settled into it. Obviously, that tailback is a great player. Like I said, like they, they got a great roster over there. And, you know, couple that with, with really good coaches, um, you know, it, it was challenging. It, it was, um, you have to be on, on high alert and, and really attention to detail and focused on uh, assignment and clear communication um, in order to to you know, get a stop, and so I, I was proud of the way our guys were able to do that and settle into the game after that first drive. You've seen screens uh, have kind of been a an, an issue a little bit the last few weeks. What's key to, to getting that cleaned up, at, even this late in the season? Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously they're just a recognition one um, and, and two. Like we've been caught in um, specific calls when we when we've seen those screens that have that have worked right, and, and there's not a. There's not a, a defense out there that can stop every play. If there was, I call it all the time, right? Um, but um, there are some things that we can do from a technique and an eye progression standpoint um, to help us out there. And there's also, you know, opportunities for uh, me to give them a, a better call or more advantageous call in, in certain situations where uh, screens may come up. I know for a lot of those screens, you know, they've been kind of delayed, I guess, for the quarterback kind of waits a beer too. Does that kind of make it? It's hard to react or. Defend if that makes sense when you're. Uh, out of no, like we're we're starting to see them out of certain formations um, or getting to certain formations. Um, so you know, obviously, without without uh, divulging too much information on how we'll combat that, um, you know, we've, we've we feel like we've come up with some good answers. Um, and obviously, like I said, there, there have been times where we've we've gotten the screen called um, out of that certain formation in, in different calls where it's not been an issue. So. Um, you know, I, I can be smarter and, and more strategic about, um, you know, how, how aggressive or when I'm aggressive um, in a play call to, to help us out in the situation. How would you evaluate how your young corners did on Saturday? Oh, did shoot, man. They, you know, you look at Xavier Scott, I thought he played, played his tail off. Um, you know, he basically was a starter, you know, in 11 personnel. Um, and for his, you know, his first start to be at the big house against the number three team in the country, and to play the way he did, um, you know, I was really, really proud of him. Uh, I knew he would would play well. Just having a, a week's worth of practice at the position he was actually going to play on a, on a Saturday. Um, same with Quan. You know, I thought he I thought he did an awesome job. Um, again, it just shows the, the flexibility that those guys have from a position standpoint and uh, the, the value that they bring uh, to us defensively. Being able to move them around and. Um, and, and their mental aptitude and, and mental makeup and football IQ to be able to, you know, switch positions uh, in a week's time, and and you know I, the whole game plan was available. I, I didn't didn't have to change calls or or change the way I would I would have called the game had we had our traditional starters out there, and um, that's a testament to the work that they put in and, and the type of athletes that they are. What does it say about Aaron Henry to get those guys? And you've been together with him for two years to have those guys ready in those moments. Yeah, I mean Aaron's a great, phenomenal coach. You know, he's um, not only is he a, a great coach, he's a great leader. The guys really um, are drawn to him and, and, and want to play well for him. Um, I think you know, I think he's he's a, a coordinator in the making. Um, you know, he's he's young, he's energetic, and he's and he's a you know, high character, high football IQ. I much like everybody on the staff. Um, I can't speak enough about the, the job he's done uh, with that room, and, and obviously you see Spoon and the way he's playing. I don't know if there's a better corner in the country, um, you know, that that is playing at the, the level he's playing at, um, and the physicality with which he plays. With Spoon, back-to-back -back weeks, kind of critical timing on those. Is there anything? You no, know, we asked last week, but as you bounce, I'm sure there's some frustration involved in, in the yeah. calls. But like, how do you teach through those moments? Or so I'm gonna do the same. Sorry. 
you told you the same thing um, every time, you know. You know, yeah. yeah I, I wouldn't have played that. If I'm him, I wouldn't have played that any different. Um, you know, back to back weeks. You know, it's, he's he's playing with proper technique. He's being aggressive. He's he's fighting for the football. You know, you, you live with that. Yes. Xavier Neary kind of looking at replacing all the guys in the secondary possibly after this year. What does it mean for him, not only for now, but for the next couple years, to kind of get this kind of experience? Yeah, it's huge. You know, you can't, I think um, experience is something that you can't teach, right? You got to like go through it. You got to live through moments. Um, and sometimes your failures are your best teachers. And um, you can't, it's hard to fabricate experience. And so to get real in-game experience at a stage like that, at a, at a point in the season like that, and um, in a meaningful game, um, I think that'll pay dividends, you know, come next year and in the years years following. Were you happy with the way your spies played? Because it, it didn't seem like McCarthy was able to take off when things broke down the way he normally has in previous weeks. Yeah, I was. That was a, a point of emphasis on, on keeping him in the pocket and um, and forcing him to escape to, to his left. You know, he, we, we made him do that a couple times and, and we knew that uh, he wasn't comfortable going that way and still throwing the ball. Um, and so I thought our, our guys did a, a good job of, of keeping him in the pocket, and when he did escape, getting him down quickly. I mean, he's a, a great athlete sure. and um, a hard guy to bring down, and, and he was able to extend some plays and uh, keep some drives going. Um, but I, I thought our guys did a really good job of, of trying to contain him. From the defense standpoint, what did it mean for you guys to have a good field of money there? And I know last week it was tough on them. What did it mean for you guys to see him and have him around and all that? Yeah, I mean, he's our leader. You know, yeah. it's um, he's the the face of the program, and and, and we go as he goes. Yeah. Um, I thought it was important for him to be there just to to so that we you know could feel the the raw human emotion, and um, and you know he's a he's a, a person, or he's a human being just like like everybody else, and so to see um, that genuineness and, and to feel uh, what he was feeling. Um, and to be there able to, to support him in that, that time, I thought was important for our staff and our players. Um, and you know, he, and Coach B did an awesome job. You know, he was he was present in, in that moment, and um, you know, he, he he was strategic in the game, and, and never once uh, did you feel like he, he wasn't present and wasn't there. So um, I thought it was thought it was huge. I don't think we played the way we played unless Coach B was there. All good. Thanks, Ryan. Yeah. Thanks, Ryan.